In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from paper 3-2 from 2024 of the Cambridge A-Level exam. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, check out the description below for a link to a playlist. And if you're looking for a different paper entirely, have a look around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing. But remember, we're not in a classroom, we're on YouTube. So take advantage of that. Use the pause, uh, rewind and fast forward uh, buttons. Um, if you find this video or any of my videos useful, I would greatly appreciate liking, subscribing or even sharing. Question three has two parts. They're both connected. Uh, the first part gives us this equation here. A to the power of 2y minus 1 is equal to b to the power of x minus y. And they tell us that, well, first they tell us A and B are just constants. They're just, they don't move around. They're just some set number. And um, show that the graph of Y against X is a straight line. So really they're asking a couple of things there. First of all, they're asking, what does the question mean? From what they said, uh, show the graph of Y against X is a straight line. What they want you to know is the answer will look like Y is equal to MX plus C. And to say that another way, y will equal to some constant multiplied by x plus some constant. That's really what they're, um, they're telling you. If you rearrange this, you'll get it to look like that. Or th that's at least how you answer the question. That's how you show that this, um, the y and x is a form of a straight line. By rearranging this, to get something that looks like this. So let's, uh, let's try and do that. Whenever you have powers, um, the most common way to deal with them is to get uh, the log of both sides. Logs destroy powers, or destroy the denominators at least, quite nicely. Um, but you can't get log to the base A. We'll, we'll destroy this one, but it won't destroy this one. So you need some other log. And honestly, logs don't, it doesn't really matter too much what you use. Um, so we just use one of the more simple ones. That's the natural log. So I'm just gonna take the natural log of both sides. The natural log of A, 2y minus 1 on the left. And uh, let, let me actually do this first before I do the other side. And uh, natural logs then have a nice um, a nice property to them that any power up here can just be brought outside. So this becomes a 2y minus 1 multiplied by the natural log of a. And again, if I do the same to this side, well, I guess I might as well uh, write it twice over here. Um, x minus y and that becomes x minus y multiplied by natural log of b. Now at this point, we hopefully are already starting to see this. There's no powers anymore. We'll have a y multiplied by this messy thing, but I, I want you to notice that this is just a constant. In fact, you could even just rewrite it as, um, as c, not this c, um, but uh, just some other constant we don't know yet. You can go through all the letters you want. If you have, if you have a big messy, uh, t actually we'll see a messy one in a moment, with loads of constants together, you can just replace it with your own other constant, simple one. Once you, uh, like in this question, part B, we're gonna have to keep these all as they are to, to solve that. Um, but, but you could deal with that when you got to it. For now, for now, we'll leave everything as it is. Actually, to answer part A, you could. You could replace this with a C and a D, because you'd still get to something that was a constant times x plus a constant. But for now, I'll leave them as they are because it'll help with part B. Um, if we multiply this all out, uh, we'll just get 2 natural log A um, multiplied by Y. We will get, uh, let's see, we'll get minus natural log A. On this side, we'll get X times natural log B. And we'll get minus uh, Y times natural log B. Get all the y's on the same side, all the x's on the other side. So on this side, we'll have y and um, multiplied by this, and then y multiplied by that. So they'll add each other, really. So it'll be 2 natural log a plus natural log b. That's it. If I move this over, they'll both have y in them. Um, I'll have 2 natural log a, and I'll have plus natural log b. So hopefully you're clear what happened there. S similar thing happens over this side. Well, x is x times uh, natural log b, and then plus natural log a. This is already looking a lot like it. Um, y equals x times a constant plus a constant. 
just need to divide everything by this. Uh, y is equal to x times natural log b over, actually, we can, we can clean this up. This two can appear over the a. So we'll have, um, yeah, let me, well, no, let me clean it up fully. Uh, we'll have natural log a squared, but then when two natural logs add each other, they, they just end up multiplying. So this one becomes natural log of a squared. But then when you add another natural log, you could just go ahead and multiply what's in it, inside here. So like that, you don't need that bracket usually. Um, let's see, plus natural log a over natural log a squared b. The same, same thing happened there. This might not look like it, but it is this. Uh, you might even want to write something in English that this is just a constant. Natural log of just a constant is a constant. A constant divided by a constant is just a constant. This is all one big constant. Uh, you could go ahead and even write equals mx plus c. Just now m equals this mess. C equals this mess. That's it, you've solved part A. In part B, they simply add in the fact that A is equal to B cubed, and they want us to state the equation of the line again. Um, but whatever multiplies by the X, they want that to be a rational number in its simplest form. And whatever is left over here, they want it to be a rational number in its simplest form. A bit confusing what it means, but you can just, sometimes you can just jump into these questions. They want the equation of a line, just like we have here already. And they've now told us a is equal to b cubed. So I guess I can do everything under knee here. This will just become, well, let me do it over here, just in case I run out of room. This will become y is equal to x times um, natural log b, I can't change b, over natural a, I can change a. a would become b cubed. a squared would become b to the power of six. So this becomes b to the power of 6 times another b. That's b to the power of 7. Um, and this becomes natural log, oh sorry, plus natural log b cubed over, again, natural log b to the power of 7. But once again, whenever you have a natural log of something to the power of something, we can do something quite easy. Uh, x just becomes uh, natural log b, can't do anything there. This just becomes seven natural log b. This one over here becomes three natural log b. The, tr the b cubed, the three just comes out. And again, the seven comes out. Seven natural log b. Natural log b divided by natural log b, it's gone. Again, it's gone here. And that's your final answer. We could just write it a little cleaner. One over seven. That's one over seven x plus three over seven. That's your final answer for part B. Okay, if you have any follow-up questions to this, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.